Ocean currents are driven by a range of sources, the wind, tides, changes in water density, and the rotation of the Earth. The topography of the ocean floor and the shoreline modifies those motions, causing currents to speed up, slow down, or change direction. Ocean currents fall into two main categories, surface currents and deep ocean currents. Surface currents control the motion of the top 10% of the ocean's water, while deep ocean currents mobilize the other 90%. Though they have different causes, surface and deep ocean currents influence each other in an intricate dance that keeps the entire ocean moving. Near the shore, surface currents are driven by both the wind and tides, which draw water back and forth as the water level falls and rises. Meanwhile, in the open ocean, wind is the major force behind surface currents. As wind blows over the ocean, it drags the top layers of water along with it. That moving water pulls on the layers underneath, and those pull on the ones beneath them. The lecture is about ocean currents. The speaker talks about sources and wind. The speaker talks about tides and water density. The speaker talks about rotation of the earth and topography. The speaker talks about currents and direction. The speaker talks about surface and deep ocean. The speaker talks about 90% and top 10 overall. The lecture was very informative about water level and force. Right. Listen to your answer. A lecture is about ocean currents. The speaker talks about sources and wind. The speaker talks about tides and water density. The speaker talks about rotation of the earth and topography. The speaker talks about currents and direction. The speaker talks about surface and deep ocean. The speaker talks about 90% and top 10 overall. The lecture was very informative about water level and force. So this will be our target, uh, more than 60% in pronunciation, more than 80 in fluency, and more than 60 in content. That way, you can get 69 plus out of 90. That's how we have to do retail lecture.